go to the health sector to get your get, get yourself proper health care. That means you have to sacrifice your daily mail. And that is unbecoming. The death rate is alarming. We are calling on the federal government that enough is enough. Bringing policies that are going to be people friendly. The Niger Delta is the oil and gas industrial hub. As we speak, Bayasa State is the state that has the highest number of gas reserves. But we can't even boast of a turbine that is working. All we are saying is that the federal government should give us true federalism as a people. That will make Nigeria work so that we can hold our governors accountable for any fund, any mismanagement of funds. True federalism is the only way we have federal government will be collecting tax. Why state government generate their revenues and pay tax to the center? Yeah. 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 We need a part-time... Thank you so much, uh, brother. <clears throat> now that you probably have that as shown to you, I think I should take you back uh, to Nigeria now again. We never really left Nigeria for the past two hours. And this is also a first night in a long night that I didn't take any break because we didn't have a chance of having our Sunday sermon, meaning there's so much to share and there's so little time. Please, if you are still here with us, I think uh, it's quite busy though. We are over 4,000 on YouTube and we are over 300 on Facebook. Thanks to all of you. If you probably joined this for the first time, please, if you like what you have been saying, like this, I mean, like the broadcast and go beyond that. Subscribe to my channel. So we crossed uh, 97, we crossed to 97,000 of us on YouTube uh, today. And thanks to all of you who are the newcomers, okay? But listen, this is a platform that doesn't have any respect for the Nigerian criminal politicians and their elites. We do not uh, really entertain political correctness here. We say things the way we feel like we want to express ourselves, right? So please, if you have any respect for any of them or you have any respect for your uh, for pastors and you probably are, you are a religious person, I am going to advise you that please just always remember that when I, when, on this platform, when I talk about uh, the criminal uh, politicians, right, I always mention their names. When I am also talking about the criminal uh, pupils, uh, bandits, your pastors, I also mention their names. And I do not, for any reason, undermine your religious belief and all that, okay? But here, yeah, eh, we can slap uh, your anointed when we know that uh, the only anointing he has is anointing of deceit, anointing of manipulation, anointing of fraud, even if you call him bishop, pastor, or cardinal. So on this platform, we do not uh, sort of uh, defame people. We expose criminals who believe that they have rights or entitlements to be respected. We do not respect them, whether they are young or old. I just thought I should say it to you, okay? So, thank you. Now, let's now go back to that street in Nigeria, okay? On that street today, Sunday, where the people, where the people were to like uh, go recoup for uh, this week, it is still counted as day four because people came out, but they were attacked by the police, by Tiflumbus APC thugs, and all of this are just to prepare all of us for tomorrow, right? So let's go back uh, to that place and see what happened all over Nigeria today, including those who had to really, really carry out their Sunday service on the streets instead of their church. Here. Yeah. Oh, it's part of the protesters. But the man you saw earlier who was speaking on camera and had his glasses on the young man was asking protesters to return home that, his, that the presidency has addressed the nation and that they should hit to, hit to his call and to return home and wait uh, until uh, the actions and the reforms and initiative that the uh, president made mention of uh, should be, would be, uh, start to come to fruition. He also told them that they need to go into dialogue, that the presidency has called for dialogue, and so they should go home. 
I want to appeal to us, Mr. President, Commander in Chief, has addressed the nation. He has addressed the nation. And that you requested for that. Now that you've been addressed, I will suggest and advise that you go home now. We have treated you as friends, as brothers, as our children. Yes, sir. We have followed you quietly. We have been so lawful in what we have done with you. Yes, sir. Now, I want to plead with you all to go home now. The reason is that you've been addressed. Okay, that is that is the more reason why you have to go home on your TV, on your TV or radio. You will hear the news. Please, let there be peace. Please, please, we have been working as 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 friends since we started this program and now that you are at peace with us i want to plead with you to go home let us enjoy peace we need peace in lagos what happened in some other states we don't want it to happen in lagos yes if you know you love lagos and you love nigeria please go home now thank you you complain about insecurity, rise. You complain about unemployment, rise. Yes. You complain about the fact that, oh, we are hungry, rise. rise. You say we want to protest, rise. rise. You say, oh, you're, you don't have uh, medical facilities, rise. rise. You say you don't have good schools and good teachers, rise. rise. You say minimum wage, rise. rise. It's rise. can't solve all the problems. Who will kill soldiers we can solve? Yes, 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 yes,
And it's our right. But when they just speak, pray to address our demand. And that's why we are still outside there. And we'll keep pressing forward until our demands are made. Until our demands are made. Thank you. As leader, I Harbi normal Harbi. Harbi ni ko mucha ni kawa. Normal Harbi. Oh, is part of the protesters, but the. Did you see that? Yes, you did, of course. And that's uh, from across Nigeria. And that's not all. Yeah. I still have more. And I think I should share that with you before I take you to other things similar to this conversation as well, right? And can I ask you a question? Have you really liked this broadcast? Like, have you gone under this video, leave the comment section and just like the broadcast and then go back to the comments, right? Have you done that? Now, please do, okay? And let's go back to the streets. Why are people protesting? Why do they want things... Uh, you know, uh, to be uh, reduced before they will leave the streets. Why? There's some of the answers here. Let's go back to the streets. Good afternoon, Nigeria. My name is Ms. Please help me and my family. 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 Please help me and my
Why did you stop? Because my mom is a teacher. So, they are not bring another person to the school. That is what my mom is doing. The best one is teaching. So, you have not been going to school? Yes. Since when? What are your siblings? How many are you in your family? Yeah, Where are the others? The other two? My, my brother is in my mama's place, so my small sister, she's in there too. Are they in school, two of them? No. All three of you are two? My brother is in my mama's place, my brother is in my mama's place. What is your father doing? What is his business? My father is doing So what exactly do you want government to do for you now? I want them to give me more scholarship from family to university. What class are you? Yeah, well, rather, where are you? You were in primary five yes. before you stopped going to school. Yes. That means you're supposed to write common entrance. But I did not do that. So you can not write your command in charge. Thank you. Yourselves, go to the nearest local government area, go to the nearest uh, streets. I'm sorry, the nearest uh, a gathering point to your streets. You don't really have to go far away from home. If you have to go in groups, tomorrow is going to be a showdown. And I'm just here to tell you, even Auntie Kemi agrees. 
we usually don't agree on the same thing. I have to say, Auntie Kemi self agrees. I'm talking about a uh, Kemi Olun lawyer. If they tell you not to protest, that's totally wrong. I couldn't believe it that she would agree, all right? But listen to this. You all need to know that uh, those who are perpetrating violence are sponsored. Remember that always. Never accept the tag that your protest is violence and all of that. Don't ever accept that. Continue to put out uh, evidence that shows the thugs are sponsored by Tifnumbu. The violence sponsored by Tifnumbu. The police killing the people that they were supposed to be protecting. You need to keep pushing that evidence out. 